video we're going to look at the basic chemistry that explains why oil and water doesn't mix. Fundamentally it's to do with polarity. Now water is a polar molecule and oil is what we call a non-polar molecule and we'll learn exactly what it means to say that a molecule is polar or non-polar. And there's a basic rule in chemistry that says that like dissolves like. So something that is polar will dissolve in something else that's polar. So if we have non-polar oil, that is not going to dissolve in polar water by this rule. And we'll go on and explain why this rule is true and exactly how it arises on a chemical basis. But first we have to look at what it actually means to say that a molecule is polar. So let's look at the basic idea of polarity. It's quite a um, simple idea. Uh, polarity arises due to the difference between atoms pull on shared electrons. And we measure the strength of the pull that an atom has on shared electrons by a thing called electronegativity. And when you have a bond in chemistry you've got two atoms sharing electrons but they're not necessarily shared equally. And the other thing you need to know is that electrons are negatively charged. So let's just consider what we call the OH bond. This is an oxygen atom bonded to a hydrogen atom. Now the oxygen is a greedy atom. It's very electronegative. This means it has a very strong pull on the electrons that make up that bond. So what you have is the electrons are being pulled this way they're being pulled away from the hydrogen and towards the oxygen. So instead of the electrons being in the middle of the bond, you have the electrons over to this side, closer to the oxygen. And as we said, electrons are negatively charged. So what you're going to get is this side is going to be slightly negative. We use this symbol, which is a lowercase delta, to mean slightly. So this side is slightly negative. If this side is slightly negative, obviously this side must be slightly positive. So, we have a slightly negative side of the molecule and a slightly positive side of the molecule. The way when you think about it, it has poles just like a magnet. It has poles, so it is polar. That's why we call this a polar molecule, because it has poles. That's totally unsurprising. And an important consequence of a molecule being polar is that it can form what's called hydrogen bonds. There's a bit more to it than that, uh, but we'll not go into that. So let's look at a water molecule. You know that water is H2O, so we've got two hydrogens and an oxygen bonded together. And let's put in some other oxygen atoms. Um, water molecules. And you'll notice that this side is slightly negative. I've got this bit slightly positive, so there's going to be attraction here. Same thing down here. There's going to be some interaction here and some interaction here. These are what's called hydrogen bonds, and it's quite easy to see why these bonds are forming. This is very important in understanding why oil and water doesn't mix. Oil, on the other hand, is non-polar. Obviously, the pool of a carbon atom is the same as the pool of a carbon atom, so none of these bonds are going to be polar. And the pool that a carbon atom has and the pool that a hydrogen atom has on electrons is pretty much similar. There's not any great difference, so we just say that that bond is non-polar. So that means there's no positive and negative sides. And if there's no positive and negative sides, you can't form those hydrogen bonds. The other thing we say about oil is that um, since it's non-polar, it's hydrophobic. Non-polar molecules are what's called hydrophobic. Hydrophobic simply means doesn't like water. You know the word phobia? That's where this phobic part comes from, sort of afraid of, and hydro simply means water. And we'll see exactly how this plays out. So let's imagine that we mix the two. So here's our uh, water molecules, and then they've got the nice hydrogen bonds between them. And then 
imagine you add some oil to it and you mix it around with a teaspoon you're going to get something like this you can have a some oil there some oil here some oil all over there I notice these oil molecules um, this is octane by the way if you count the number of carbons you'll see that there's eight of them that's oct so you've got octane you probably recognize that from general knowledge now if we look closely at this we can see that these atom these um, molecules are disturbing the hydrogen bonds and from a thermodynamic perspective we're not going to go into the thermodynamics but this is undesirable so what you have is the hydrogen bonds all reforming again and the oil being pushed out of the way so you're getting these two things separating and this is known as the hydrophobic effect so if someone asks you why does oil and water not mix the answer is the hydrophobic effect it's exactly what's going on and if you look that up the hydrophobic effect on Google you'll get far more detail and be able to look into the thermodynamics and see exactly how this works but this is just an introductory video so just to summarize this is what's going to be the result of that you've got the oil in its own layer where it's not disrupting the hydrogen bonds and then you have the water with all the hydrogen bonds intact so that's ex that's why you're getting these two layers so hopefully you now understand why oil and water doesn't mix you understand a little bit about polarity and you know a little bit about hydrogen bonds so this has been a quite good introduction to big ideas in chemistry just to explain a simple natural phenomenon and uh, thank you for watching